about how you got here. What inspired you to pursue dance and a career in social media? So basically, I just moved in LA three months ago. Uh, I'm from Canada, so I just got here. And it took me forever actually to get here because visa situation, it's very hard uh, if you're like out of like the US. But basically what I loved about LA is just how I can like achieve so many stuff like dance, acting, singing, modeling and everything. So this is what I'm trying to do out here in LA. But also uh, social media helped me so much to just move here, get my visa and everything. So yeah, I'm super excited to like try new stuff out here and just be in LA. At what age did you start dancing? I actually started dancing a little late. I was uh, 13 years old and I first started with just dance competition, trying like all styles like hip hop, contemporary jazz, ballet, acro. Like I tried everything, but um, I started to train like a lot when I was 16, the first time I got in LA and I was in dance classes like at Millennium or like all the studios and I saw the dancers and they were like killing it. And I was like, I really want to be like super good as well. So I trained as much as I could around like five classes a day. And it was very extreme, but I was like, I really have to get that training done. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then pandemic happened when I was around like 20 and I saw social media and all TikTok. And I was like, I should just try it and jump on it. In what ways do you hope to inspire young dancers to chase their dreams? So basically, I would love for people to like, I think the first time that I understood that, like made me realize how we can achieve anything that we want basically because at some point even as a dancer there's so many people in this world and I was like how can I have like a place in this world to like achieve all my things but seriously like anyone can like achieve anything we just have to go for it and do what other people don't do basically so that's how I kind of found how anything is possible and I know like sometimes it's very hard, but we just had to like stay super patient. And even later or sooner, your dreams are gonna come true. You just have to like stick to what you love to do and then people are gonna love it if you love what you're doing. What is your favorite TikTok dance? Uh, I think my favorite was definitely one of my first viral video that I did. Uh, it was on Crazy in Love by Beyonce. And every time that I'm doing this dance, oh my God, I'm just like obsessed with it. Like I created it, but it's not the fact that I created it. It's just this song the mix and everything. And it's just the way that it's done. I'm like in hills walking. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So tell us about your first viral post. So basically I was on TikTok one day and I didn't go to work because I was tired and good that I didn't go because I was scrolling on my TikTok. And basically I saw the sound of crazy in love and I was like, oh my God, I should just create something. So like, you know, I was like feeling whatever I created something didn't really know what I was doing and then I just filmed it with my mom like somewhere and the video kind of did good and then at some point seriously I dreamed of it and I was like I should just like hit that dance like in a mall or something because nobody was like dancing in public like I've, I've never done that before but like you know I had like a vision of it and I called my mom and I was like mom like we have to like go like at this mall and she was like okay like super confused and I called my friend I was like, hey, you have to film the behind the scenes of my mom. Like I had this vision of video or something. And they were like, okay, it's fine. But like super like weird or something. And we kind of did it. I was very nervous. Like I've never danced in like public before. And seriously, I posted that video. And like, as soon as I posted it, I don't know, like I felt something. And I think after like an hour, it was like already at like 600 views. And me, I was like, oh my God, I'm going viral or something. And I think the next day it was like at 20 million views or something. And seriously, since that day, all my life changed like completely. Like I still don't even understand how. Since that video, like I gained like a million followers in a week and it just never stopped because I kept rolling with ideas and everything, but yeah. What is your favorite dance performance that you've done? Oh my God, my favorite one. I think it was from uh, JLo, Get It Right, with the cane. Da -da 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 -da, in front of my TV. <laughs> this one, I loved it so much. I think it's when I uh, reproduce some music video with the TV in the back. It's just a way for me to like keep pushing, training, having some new ideas and like creating costumes and everything with it. And maybe hopefully getting like noticed by these artists that happened a lot. Uh, Jado saw that video once. Cardi B reposted one of my video. Um, Megan Stallion as well saw one of mine. So it's just a way for me to like keep pushing and hopefully getting noticed. And like, it's just so weird how TikTok helped me to like being seen by these amazing artists, which 
I'm super inspired by, so yeah, that's super amazing. So, how would you describe your fashion style? Uh, my fashion style, it's very funny because a year ago, before TikTok, I didn't even have any fashion style. But now, um, I collab with like a lot of companies, so like they help me like find my own style and everything. And I would describe it as um, a mix between like dance, um, street, or like, I love like jeans like this, baggy jeans with like accessories and everything. So these are like what I really love to wear. And I love when it's like not too like tight because I have to like dance in it um, and like making sure that like, you know. And I also love crop top. I don't know why. So like a mix of like these jackets and yeah. But um, I love some stuff that like nobody has. What dancer would you love to collaborate with in the future? That is such a good question because seriously, like everyone is so talented. So I guess I'll just dance with like everyone. <laughs> Who or what inspires your original choreography and creativity? I think one of the choreographers that I used to watch a lot is Paris Global. Um, she's uh, she's a lot of like royal family and she's choreographed a lot for like Rihanna, JLo. And yeah, I think her work is just very unique and different. So yeah, she's one of my biggest inspiration, I guess. Who are your biggest role models in the industry and why? One of my biggest inspiration, I think are like artists like JLo, Rihanna, um, even Britney Spears, Madonna, because these artists are like their own and unique like style and they're like just big performers. So I guess I'm like very like inspired by these amazing artists. <laughs> so what are some of the things that you miss about Canada? Um, I think the first thing is definitely my family because I'm super close to every one of them and I miss them so much. Um, also, so weird, I don't really like winter, but when it comes to Christmas and everything, it, just, it makes it bright, like Christmas with snow, white and everything, it's so beautiful. So I kind of just miss the snow just for the Christmas part, but I'm, I'm just gonna go back <laughs> there for Christmas. And then definitely my, my friend, my dance friends, I guess more like people, but um, what I just love about Quebec and everything, it's like, uh, it just feels like, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Tell us more about your favorite competition and why it resonates with you to this day. So I think my favorite competition that I did was uh, the time that I did my first dance solo. Basically, it was the first time that I choreographed for myself. And it's just the thing, I went there by myself. I didn't have my dance school with me. And I was just like, I'm just gonna go for it and see what happened. And it's so weird, but that day I won like the both title, like the um, scholarship to go in LA. So that was the first time that I, was in, that I went in LA and also the title of like a dancer of the year for that competition. And I was not expecting this at all. So just a good moral of that story. Just go for it because you never know. <laughs> What's the piece of advice you've been given that's helped you the most? Uh, I think the advice that I am always keeping every day in my head um, is just uh, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Don't think too much because when you think too much, you don't have time to actually do stuff. So even if it's not going to work, who cares? Like that is the thing. And sometimes before I used to care so much about every each detail. I'm still a perfectionist, but in a way, I think sometimes it's mistakes that makes things look cool in a way. And um, you're just learning from these. And at the end of the day, it's like, it, life goes so fast. You have to keep going fast with it, with like the things that you love to do. Don't think too much. In your interview with Voyage LA, you spoke about how your mom has always been there for you. In what ways has she helped you to get to where you are today? Seriously, I can't even say how much my mom helped me to be where I am now today. If it was not for her, I will just never be here. Um, because she is the person that actually helped me like realize how much talented I was. Um, and not in a way, like she actually made me start to dance because I was around 13 and she was like, you have a gift, you really need to dance. And she is always a person that um, she's gonna push me to, to my limits. And it's just now why I'm like super hard on myself in a good way, uh, because I'm never gonna stop till I achieve my goal. And it's definitely what she taught me to do. And uh, yeah, so I'm super grateful to like have this mom. How's your family reacted to and handled your social media fame? I guess it happened super quick in a way, but didn't because I worked super hard to be where I am now for like years and nothing really happened till like a year ago. So they were super supportive, but like at some point, sometimes they were like, wait, why is she like always like working super hard? Like they were like kind of expecting something, but like I was always telling them just wait for it. 
it's gonna happen one day. And basically when it happened, I mean, they were expecting it because I worked super hard for it. But um, I think they're just super happy to see uh, all my achievement because how I mentioned in the past seconds, uh, it has been super hard. And now they're very glad that, um, you know, I can like realize all my goals, my dreams and everything. So yeah, they're very, very proud of me. If you could give one piece of advice to the younger generation that want to be in your shoes, what would it be? I would say um, definitely try to be the best version of yourself and not trying to be like everybody else. Because even me growing up, we're like in a society that we are trying to like be like, you know, as, as this like figure that we see. And sometimes just being you, it's very enough. And sometimes we don't think that it's enough. So yeah, just be the best version of yourself and just work super hard for it. And there is a place for each and every one of us. And once we like figure this out, it's when everything happens.